Prophet says, Man sahara faqad ashrak. Did you hear that? Clear words. Clear words. Whoever has done magic has engaged in shirk. They have associated partners with Allah. What does that mean? You just removed yourself out of the fold of Islam. That's what it means. Whoever participates in magic, black magic, magic, any types of magic. You know, one is uh, a trickster, conjurer who's a trickster. He's quick, quicker than your eye. So he shows you, he pulled something out of his sleeve. What was it? A rabbit. <laughs> He's just faster than your eye. You know, he put his hand here and suddenly took it out and there's a flame. <laughs> Have you seen that? Sometimes it's just a trickster, a person who knows he's very quick, he's faster than your eye. That's all it is. You can actually train to become one. I don't know why you would, but anyway, you know, <laughs> people are entertained. They'll pay 200 ringgits to see a trickster, but they won't pay 100 ringgits to listen to how to get to Jannah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So, one is a person who's a trickster. The other is a magician, a person who uses the jinn in order to do things. You know, he'll slice your body into two, take one to that side of Kuala Lumpur and the other to the other side. The problem is when they can't fix it back, <laughs> then you got an issue. I remember someone tell me that no, they connected one person's body, top body to another person's bottom body. And I was thinking to myself, it's all sihr. You know, it depends how they've done it. So it happens sometimes with the assistance of jinn. I had a young brother who was going into, he was a trickster initially, and they tried to lure him into becoming a full fledged magician with the assistance of jinn. And he said, Wallahi, there are rituals we have to start performing. Why? Because Allah says, Hal ala man Surah Shu'ara. Should we tell you whom these jinn, shayateen, descend to? You know, we ask ourselves, okay, well, the jinn goes to those people. Why doesn't the jinn come to me and say, hi, what can I do for you? You know, what can I do for you? And you say, I need a million ringgits, please. And then he says, look at the ceiling. And suddenly a hundred starts floating, coming down. He says, you see, another hundred starts coming down. See, it doesn't happen to us. Why not? It would solve all our problems, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. It would create bigger problems for us. May Allah forgive us. So when a person starts involving with shayateen and the jinn, Allah says, should we tell you whom the jinn descends to? Who does the jinn go to? What a powerful verse. Surah to shuara Allah says, the jinn comes down to those who are liars. Affakin. They create slander and tales. They are sinful people. Athim. People who constantly engage in sin. They have to have done something. Sometimes people flush the Quran down the loo. Do you know that? In order to get control of a jinn. Sometimes the people write the Quran with defecation. I'm just letting you in on what really happens. And then they get control of a jinn. The jinn comes. Why? Shaitan is so happy you become a ringleader as well. You have crossed a certain threshold after which you will get control of some jinn. And what do they do with these jinn? They use them. And why, do, why is the jinn ready to be used? Because the jinn is so happy that you have now turned away from Allah. You are out of the fold of Islam.